Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully imported the HTTP client testing module and also we have simulated the HTTP client get request. Now the problem where we, we got it is, so now we are trying to make the get request, fine it's making the get request but we are just simulating that one. If you try to see in the console, it is nowhere making the get request to the test URL slash data because we are using the testing module and here it is injecting the HTTP client requires the HTTP backend handler. So that one HTTP client testing module will inject the HTTP testing backend handler instead of HTTP backend handler which handles the real get request. Now what we need to do is, so here we need to test that whether this HTTP client has actually made the date, actually make the call with the given URL and also we need to, we need to test that the data it is actually getting the data or not and also we need to see that it, it needs to ma make only one time only so it, need, it should not make more than one time so like this type of things how we can test so let's try to see it in this video in order to test this one so we need an another another service that is nothing but HTTP test controller so let's try to add it here so in this one only you will be having so HTTP testing controller so this is the handler we need it, the service we need it. Now let's here create a variable HTTP testing controller of type, sorry, of type HTTP testing controller. So I have created a variable and in this variable what I will try to do is, so here in order to get this one, so HTTP testing controller is equal to so we need to inject it. So testbed dot inject in order to get the instance HTTP sorry HTTP testing controller. That's it. So now we got the HTTP testing controller. Using this HTTP testing controller, we can test the HTTP client that whether the calls has been made successfully or not, and what type of call has been made. These are all the things we can check it. Now let's try to see it. So now here we need to get the request. So here we can get the request using HTTP testing controller dot. So how many times it has been made? So we need to make this test URL call only one time. So here you have a method something like expect none and expect one. So we need to have expect one. So to which URL it is to make? So slash data. So we are checking that. So HTTP testing controllers need to make only one time only with the URL slash data. That is nothing but the test URL. And now this request will give you the test request. So now in this test request, you will have all the things, something like what type of method. And if you want to send the data, mock data, so you can send the mock data to this one and all those things. Now if you try to see, now let's try to see the test the code. So now here it has been success. Now if I try to open. Here we got the, the test case has been successfully passed, but here we, we are able to see that spec has no expectation should call the test URL with get request. So fine, we, do, we didn't have any expectations, but here we are writing an assertion that it needs to be called only one time. This URL needs to be called only one time. So there is nothing but this is one type of expectation or assertion only. So for example, if I call two times, so HTTP client dot get and I am calling it two times. Now here we are expecting that this URL need to be called only one time, but it is making two times HTTP client dot get we are calling it two times somehow in the code it is calling two times and the rest URL is getting called two times. Now let's try to see. Now immediately we got an error that expected one matching request for criteria slash data, but it found two requests. So now the code is working, the testing is working as expected, but it is telling that it doesn't have any expectations. So now in order to overcome this expectations thing, so we can do two methods, something like, so we will make this HTTP client data to get the data, to get the mock data. And in this subscribe, we can write the data. So in order to send the mock data to this one, so what we need to do is, we need to use request.flush. So whatever the URL, so whatever the URL we are getting here, so in a row, so in a row, the request should be sent in a row. So now flush, I am sending the mock data. Here we needs only one data. So one only. So I am telling something like name of type. So Leela web dev. So I am writing it like this. Okay. 
or otherwise what i can do is so i can write something like test data of type of type data is equal to so name of type leela web dev okay so that's it so now we need to pass this test data to here i am passing this test data so now when we got the subscribe we will be getting the data and here if you want to write here you can write expect data to equal of test data okay so right now this http client is a simulation call so it uh, actually doesn't make the call it pretends to it pretends that it has made the call but we if we want to send the response so mock response to this one means we need to use this request dot flush so whenever you use this request dot flush it will send this test data whenever the user subscribes to this one now we are che checking that the data is matching to this test data or not now if you try to see the output see we got a success and also here where is this one http client right so if you try to see http client and here we are not, we are able to see that it has no expectations now the expectations we have got the expectations now you will be able to understand that this subscribe will happens after some time so this one will be executed after that way it will be finished right so we can think like that so if you want means you can use the done function we have already discussed about this one if you don't want to do this all the things also so i can make comment out this one so that you will have reference i can also check something like so expect okay so i need to check that i need to check that the request what it has been made request dot request dot you will be having methods so you will be having some headers and all those things and i want to check the method so to be it should be a get request you can also make like this also so now we will be checking this one so if you try to see again the test case has been passed if you want to see if it is a post request means so let's try to see whether it has made post request or not if you try to see the error so now it is telling that expected get to be post actually it has made the get request but you are checking with the post it is telling so that means it is successfully working and we can do it like this okay so here the testing controller is useful for make testing the assertions so here we are expecting that expect one so if you want you have, you'll be having so many things like expect none and expect one is there so another one if you want to see more than means you will be using the match we will see about this one also so it will make sure that it has been the test uh, the http client has been made only once and also request dot flush what it will try to do is it will try to send the mock data to this one whoever subscribes to this http client and we here we are checking that request dot method is to be get request or not so this is the way testing controller will be very useful so in the without using http client testing module we have used the jasmine traditional spy object method but here we are using the angular's native http testing module client testing module in order to test the assertions for this one hope you understood about this one so we, in the next video we will see how to make uh, how we can test this multiple client request if you want to make means how we can test this multiple client request let's try to see it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you